I really went all out. The birthday bottle, it was literally $120. That doesn't say that it's good. I don't know. I think it was like $30, but I don't care. You guys. I'm on the mezzanine. I go so hard just to fuck up my enemies. Don't even visit with the sets as the remedy. What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys everything that I bought myself for my 25th birthday. My 25th birthday was on August 2nd and I do these birthday hauls every year on my channel. 25 was definitely the best year in terms of shopping. I really went all out. I put money aside specifically to go shopping and boy did I. I would say 85% of the things that I bought are behind me. So without any further ado, let's get into the birthday haul. The first thing that I picked up, I have this tradition with myself where I like to get myself a bottle for my birthday and a perfume which I'll show you guys the perfume that I decided to get this year. I actually got a couple of perfumes behind me. You guys can see my perfume tier. I actually got like four or five perfumes aside from my birthday perfume and I'm planning on making a perfume haul for you guys. I know I made one a couple of months ago and I know you guys enjoyed that video so I decided that I will do another one. But this one was the birthday bottle. If you guys remember when I turned 24 last year, I said in that video that I really wanted this bottle, but my liquor store that I normally go to did not have it that year. So I got the Blanco, but this time we got the Classe Azul Reposado. The next thing I'm just gonna pick up because it's right behind me, I got these two controllers and the boxes are empty. I actually have played with both of the controllers. I got these controllers for my Nintendo Switch. I bought myself a Nintendo Switch a couple of months ago. I'm not sure if I said that on my channel. I've always loved playing the DS and when I was younger, I gave my DS away to another child and I low-key regret it. I kind of want my DS back. Obviously, they don't sell them. They're all like secondhand through eBay and I just never got another DS. So I got a Nintendo Switch because that's like the newer updated, you know, um, handheld that everyone's using and also I can project it onto my TV. I never got a separate controller. I only had the Joy-Cons, which honestly, if you guys are new here, hi. I have a couple of autoimmune diseases and I also have arthritis real bad and it flares up randomly and when I was playing those games my thumbs were screaming for dear life so I did end up getting these controllers and I'm really happy with them. I got a Peach one and I also got a Mario one. They're like regular sized controllers. I actually never had a console growing up. The only thing I had I think was like a Wii um, and obviously a DS so I never got the chance to get like an Xbox or a PlayStation so this is my first time like actually using real controllers so I'm super excited about that and I am planning on getting myself a PS5 hopefully for Christmas and along with that I literally just got this today actually because I was off today so I decided to play my Switch this is Super Mario Odyssey I've only ever played Super Mario Bros and Mario Kart on the DS so this was a new game for me and I started playing it I might actually play it after I finish this video a little bit more but this is the game that I got myself now we're gonna get into the big guns okay I went to Sephora literally like two or three times and I got so much stuff I went to a big giant mall on my birthday and that was like my birthday plans I did go to dinner as well my main target to acquire was definitely going to go shopping so I definitely did some damage at Sephora I specifically put money aside because I knew I was gonna go to Sephora and I hate to disappoint you guys because I know I remember saying in a past video that I really wanted to get makeup. I really didn't get any makeup. I got a lot of skincare and I got a lot of perfume. <laughs> so let's get into what I got at Sephora. Starting off, I'll start with the biggest bag because there's like bags inside of bags. <laughs> I'm not going in any particular order because I ended up going to Sephora a couple of times. Um, the first thing that I see in here is the Forever Mood. This is the mini set of Jackie Ines perfumes, first of all. I truly have been on like a social media detox, if you will, for a couple of years now. I really don't go on social media that often. My main social media app is YouTube. That is what I spend 99% of my time on. Jackie Ina is not as active on YouTube as she once was, so I totally forgot about Forever Mood. I have a couple of candles by that brand. I did not know that she came up with perfumes until my birthday when I went into Sephora. You guys, first of all, I wanted to get two full sizes, but I quickly found out that they were literally sold out and they're going to be sold out for a minute. Um, I started following the Forever Mood brand page because I really need to know when these come back in stock. Um, I did not open this mini set yet, but it comes with all four of her perfumes that she came out with, I'm assuming. I am her, hard to get, you remind me, an NDA. I actually 
really really wanted i am her and nda in full sizes but like i said they're all sold out so i settled for this mini so i ended up getting this mini pack i am her and nda are that girl and i did get two additional minis of those two because they were the only two minis that were available at that sephora and i'm really really glad because i went to another sephora a couple days later and literally none of her perfumes were there all of them were sold out so i got lucky so this is the mini set of the forever mood and i'm super excited and these are the two minis that i was referring to so this is i am her and this is nda these are 0.34 fluid ounces they are just like sweet like candy this is what the bottle looks like this is what it's giving oh my god it smells so good the i am her and the nda the nda is like the one that i've actually worn outside so far and it's so good i ended up picking up some things from youth to the people I don't know if I mentioned this before or if I did it was like a really long time ago in my unlisted videos back when I was doing like strictly makeup videos um, in 2019 but I really really enjoy Youth the People's face wash. I've been using it for a couple of years and I'm pretty dedicated to it but recently I was running out and I just couldn't get to a Sephora so I ended up trying the La Roche Posay and it's okay it doesn't do anything good or bad it's kind of like a equal for me but I wanted to get back to my roots so I have the face wash somewhere in here we'll get to it but I found um the superfood skin drip it's the same thing kale but it doesn't have spinach it has kale and peptide and this is a smooth and glow serum I just remember testing it in the store and loving the way that it felt on my skin so I just decided to pick it up I don't really need this but I just really wanted it because of the packaging and then also I just really need a moisturizer I haven't had a skin moisturizer a face moisturizer in a really long time that's embarrassing to admit but it's the truth i've been using like regular lotion on my face god help me this is a superfood airwood moisture cream and it is kale and spinach and hyaluronic acid right up my alley anything with the same ingredients as the face wash is definitely a plus for me i would definitely have to try this out and make sure that it like cooperates with my skin but from what I can tell from the brand and this like little line, I'm really obsessed. I also, when I was working at Sephora, I think I worked there when I was like 19 or 20. It was like my dream to work there. And I actually was just like a seasonal cashier. But even the seasonal cashiers, we got gratis every single month and I was living. And one of the things in the gratis for one of those was the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Oil. And I never forgot about her. And eventually I had to toss it, even though I wasn't finished with it because the expiration was like way past the expiration date but I really, really loved it. It did something magical for my skin. A little bit of a throwback to my Sephora gratis that I used to get, but this oil is definitely worth the money. It is very pricey. I think it's like upwards of $50, but it's worth it. Um, just take my word for it. I literally purchased it with my own money after getting it for free. So if that doesn't say that it's good, I don't know what will. And then the full size perfume that I did end up getting was Gorgeous Orchid. I am just as shocked as you. I actually was looking at her from Burberry and um, the saleswoman at the Sephora, it was a really huge Sephora. She came up to me and gave me a sample, which normally I'm not really into like the, try the sample, try the sample, but I did. And surprisingly, I really liked it. So she showed me what she gave me and it ended up being this. It was Gucci Flora and it is Gorgeous Orchid. I think this is a flanker of like a whole gorgeous line, Gorgeous Orchid. It's literally just vanilla and orchid. Those are literally the notes and it smells just like Oh mm, my god, it's so good. I've never smelled orchid before, but this perfume is fire, you guys. If you do not own it, at least go to Sephora and sample it or smell it. It smells so good. It's actually addictive. Next things from Sephora, this is the face wash that I was talking about. This is the kale, green tea, and spinach vitamin superfood cleanser. My girl, she has never failed me, and she's everything. And it's just a superfood cleanser, comes with a pump separately right here and then this is the full size cleanser they also have a travel size available at sephora if you guys are traveling i just got these on my second trip this is the sol de janeiro bum bum body for Mesa oil this is basically just a body oil and it smells just like the bum bum cream and i have the bum bum cream still i usually buy it every other summer because i never finish it in a summer but i have a feeling i'm gonna finish this body oil i'm a body oil girl i've been using body oil the entire summer instead of lotion um it's like the palmer's cocoa butter body oil i'm obsessed with that one and this i don't even know if it has like extreme benefits and honestly i don't even care i'm not even gonna try to sell you on it i just needed a body oil that smelled like 
the bum bum cream and this is it i can't even smell it because it has the cap on it but it does come with a pump as well in the box speaking of sol de janeiro i also got the spray i buy the spray every summer it smells so good it's a classic it's a staple summer scent and i have already used this i used it on my birthday i couldn't leave it in the bag it's it's impossible so i did pick this up i actually have never gotten the perfume if you own the Charosa 62 perfume definitely hit me up in the comments and tell me if it's worth it. I heard when it first came out that it didn't have a long lasting ability. So that's why I just stuck with the body spray because it's cheaper and it lasts a pretty long time. And I can just keep reapplying and not feel bad about it. The next thing I picked up, I actually got Necessaire's products last year for my birthday. In my birthday haul, I remember talking about their body wash and I actually still have it. I never used the, the entire bottle, so I still have a little bit left. But this is the Necessaire Body Serum. This does not have a scent. This is hyaluronic acid. And I remember feeling it on my skin in the store and it felt so good. Anything that has like a nice soft like jelly feel is my favorite type of skincare product. So I got the body serum. Um, I just really want to start taking care of my skin more. Next thing I got, I've been fiending for this. This is the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm in the shade Vanilla Beige. These butter balms are scented a little bit, but I mostly am here for the shade. They're like tinted and they're so, so nice. The Vanilla Beige is basically like the color of this packaging i don't know if you can see that but there is like a little bit of a tint inside of this applicator and it just gives a slight tint to my lips i really love this lip balm and i wanted it a couple of months ago but just didn't get it at the time i went to sephora it was in stock so i picked her right up there is another version of this primer but i'm pretty sure this is the original the glow and sculpt and it has like a little roller on it I actually never opened this, so I really hope this is the one that I wanted. Yeah, this is the one that I wanted. Okay, so this is the bottle. It's so bouche. And then it has like a little roller, I believe. Yeah, there we go. This is the roller and it rolls on. So cool. I'm super excited to use this primer. I haven't used a primer in a minute, so I'm excited to use the refi one. And I heard it has really, really good reviews aside from the cool applicator. People also really love the product, so I'm excited to try it. We're down to the last of it. I got three beauty blenders because I thought I didn't have any, but I just found two in my vanity, so oops. But I can never have enough beauty blenders. I got a black one, I got a beige one, and then they came out with this really cute, like, marble one. It's like pink and blue marble so i picked those up and then the last thing from sephora is the sugar face polish by fresh i remember this smelling really 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 good i also got this in my working at sephora era this is what the box looks like they did not have this at the first sephora that i went to so i got this on my second trip a couple of days ago this is what she looks like it's literally just like brown sugar smells so good they actually have a body polish as well i just didn't pick it up i'm used to the face one so i'm going to reintroduce the face one to my skin and see how it reacts because i actually really do want to start exfoliating all right that was it for sephora now let's move on i just went to pink randomly because i had gift cards in my wallet and I just got underwear, honestly. I actually never really get anything crazy from Pink. I haven't bought a bra from Pink in a minute. And like any type of like lingerie or robe, anything like that. It's like a once in a while for me. Do you guys get anything from Pink? I think the last time I started going to Pink and Victoria's Secret religiously was when I was in like middle and high school. And I wanted those yoga pants that folded over and had like the branding with the gems and the rhinestones. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Are you from that era of going to school with Ugg boots and fold over yoga pants? Because that was me. And I really wanted them so bad. I think I had like literally one pair and I would just wear the crap out of them, exhaust them. The next thing that I got, I went to a random home store and they had a Hello Kitty. They had like a Hello Kitty cosmetic bag and I just couldn't say no. It was so overpriced. I think it was like $30, um, but I don't care. This is what she looked like. I'm literally not even going anywhere, not traveling, not doing anything, but when the time comes, Hello Kitty is here. I never really go in lids and I was just walking by in the mall and I saw this shirt in the front of the store and I needed it. This is a New York Yankee shirt. My mom's side of the family is from New York and I rep New York as well as other teams, but I really like New York. Next place I went to is Journeys and um, I got a pair of Uggs. I got this pair of Uggs. These are 
the black Tasmans. I got them in a size 10. My normal size is a size 9. But I used to have a brown pair of Tasmans like a year or two ago and they just got disgusting. So I just ended up tossing them. Um, but they were a size 9. And I noticed that they were kind of tight. So when I went to the store, they didn't even have a size 9 to begin with. So I'm excited I got these. Because when winter time comes, these will be perfect. I love the black. I do want to get a brown pair as well. They just weren't available. And I also want to get a gray pair. I do have the Telfar Ugg bags in black and chestnut. So I'm really excited to get a pair of chestnut Tasmans. Because these are like the number one shoes that I go for. I do have black and chestnut minis, I believe. But my number one pick is always the Tasmans. They're just easy to slip on and go and I'm always wearing a casual outfit 99% of the time So I really love to go for these Tasmans. So I'm excited. I found them in black And that is what I got from journeys next the thing that's staring at me back here I got a Hello Kitty blanket the other day at home goods just basically because I love Hello Kitty. There's no real reason I love her. Um, it's a throw, or no, it's a twin XL blanket, so I'll be able to wear it like when I'm going to sleep. I don't know if this is a weird fact, but I actually don't really sleep with covers. I might like pull my comforter back, but I rarely sleep under the covers. I normally have a blanket when I'm sleeping. I don't know what it is about me, but I just really don't like the covers. So I always have a blanket with me. I normally have, I have a brown blanket that I normally sleep with from Home Goods. Home Goods just has the best blankets. And then we're on to the last thing. Would you believe me if I told you that Nordstrom was having their um, anniversary sale and I got yet another blanket? To be fair, this is the first blanket that I picked up, but ever since I was watching YouTube when I was a kid, everyone was always raving about Barefoot Dreams blankets and I just never had the money to get it. In order to get to the mall, I parked near Nordstrom and when I was walking through Nordstrom, they were right at the display and I didn't even know if their anniversary sale was happening because I don't really go to Nordstrom, but... I saw it and I had to get it. This is her. I've always wanted this blanket. This one specifically, the like cheetah print. So this is what it looks like. I don't even know how big this blanket is and I don't even know if it was worth the price. It was literally $120. Do not kill me. I really, and that was the sale. Like the YouTube teen in me was just calling to this blanket. So I really wanted to get it. So I decided to pick it up and that was the end of my 25th birthday haul, you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed shopping and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.